Welcome back to the channel. I'm always ready. It's been a while, so I'm glad to see you all in like, what are we doing with Pokemon on the channel again? Well, there is a new TCG variant of the game, Pocket, and it's done for mobile devices, iOS, Android, is there anything else left out there? Anyway, this game is a condensed version of the TCG experience. And we've been playing it behind the scenes. Uh, shout outs to all of you who have been uh, checking out the shorts on the channel, right? Been trying to upload, been very busy with life. So finally back to uh, try to become consistent with the uploads. Uh, and so we have a deck for you today uh, and it's the Cubone Marowak build with the star of the show, for me anyway, Pidgeot, right? Because why? I'll tell you why. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh for so long has revealed the degeneracy with which I came into the world. And I would like nothing more for my opponent than to make sure they can't play their cards, okay? To that end, this is what Pidgeot is for. Pidgeot has an amazing ability in the game to where it can force the active Pokemon back to the bench to pull out another one. So even if I'm gonna lose, it's gonna be on my terms. Okay, so with that said, I wanna go ahead and hop in here. We're gonna get these plays off. Marowak can do big damage when it gets the double heads on the coin flip. So Lord, please, for the sake of the video, let's not get double tails. I did some things, I switched it up a little bit. Uh, I did throw a fossil uh, in here and uh, Farfetch just because Farfetch is a nice consistent 40. Plus the fossil can help us deal with Sabrina's as we're trying to build up a Marowak or our Grappolot. So, um, Typically what I want to do here, I'm going to wait to see if the opponent puts anything down first. Typically savvy opponents will try to wait me out as well, because if I can, I would rather get Hitmonlee to start attacking the opponent's uh, bench. If not, then I have to throw down this Cubone and I really don't want to, I don't really want to waste the Hitmonlee either. However, because they're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and throw the Hitmonlee. So this opponent definitely knows uh, what I was attempting to do here. <laughs> so let's activate Pokeball. We always want to activate Pokeball first in my mind, so you can go ahead and get that basic out of the way. That way you're making the most of Professor's research, say support cards, etc. So we got a Pidgey, Clobopus, and let's end the turn. So look, we'll see what they try to put on their back row. Um. If they put some bench Pokemon down, see, we can go ahead and just right away start trying to attack the Staryu. Let's see what else they put on the bench. Or we can opt for the Squirtle. We don't, we definitely don't want that to get too big. Uh, as far as this energy. All right. <laughs> We're leaving that in. Okay. <laughs> that That is good too. Like that's also a valuable lesson in the game. This game is pretty degenerate when it comes to like the plays that you can make, being honest. Like, for instance, Duel Links is a 20 card at the minimum game as well. But there's a lot of variation in Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? That's a wholly different animal. In this game, you can pretty much tell from the jump if it's gonna work out or not. Um, I do have the PG line and I do have the Grapplot. So let's just throw this up here. Ooh, it's a Pikachu EX times two. I have beaten uh, one of these lines before, mind you. Let's see. I also have a Hitmonlee. Let's do Professor's. Ooh, and a Cubone. All right, we pretty much have the whole gang here. Now it just comes down to how I want to try to play this out because grapple locked takes three energy two of which are the fighting uh type energy 
and we like it because it does the same thing as Pidgey, but we're just we're swinging for damage when we do it. Pidgey, I always want to leave in the back row if I can. Um, because we have Cubone back here, let's do this. Line this up, and let's get ready to. We don't want to use this. It is the one of in the in the deck, um, which is a little unfortunate. But I also don't want to put extra energy on here. If he can just hit it in one go, then we can go into the Marowak and just start swinging right away. Versus if I put the grapple locked on top of the Clobopus, then we have a bit of like a, a stall in the line of play. So I'm going to let this be a dead card. The only thing that can kind of mess that, that line of thought up is if he put in an energy or they put an energy on the bench Pikachu, but they didn't go that route. So Ooh, they did Sabrina. Interesting. This can pull out Marowak for free. Uh, let's put Hitmonlee out here, actually. I'm totally fine with that. I can get free damage. Actually, let's do this. Let's use... Dr Let's use drive off. Yeah, okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let's leave Hitmonlee in. Now we can evolve. And then we can hit this one in the back. That way, at the very least, they, they may be like kind of trigger happy on the potion. And we can take advantage of that. By the way, as you can see in my deck, I took potion out because we we'll only care about attacks in this deck. Okay. We, we want to be very aggressive and we want to take the opponent out and we don't want to waste any time with any potions. My thing is pretty much if, if I can get a Pokemon to do it, which this deck won't really focus on that, but if I can get a Pokemon to do it, then yeah. And see, look, we got him to waste an energy. All right. Now, we need to go ahead and try to force a hit here. Oh, I love that, that art. Okay, so instead of doing drive off this time, because that would just give it a free attack and it wouldn't have to spend energy, we're going to roll the dice. Heart of the cards and the power of Joey Wheeler. Let's flip. One. Oh, so close. So close. If only I had a Giovanni. I need a second Giovanni. I could craft for it. Shout outs to the team for putting crafting in the game. Looking at you, Duel Links. Um, okay. I'm going to switch out. We can use drive off again. Is that 10? We don't we don't have to force it, but we got to be very careful here. All they have to do is put one down and we're we're sacked, right? So mm, let's use drive off. I figured they bring up the Magnemite. Alright, let's do this. 
Okay, we got in one hit. That way, it comes down to a coin flip. <laughs> All right. They brought out the... Uh, the healthy one. I'm hoping they can't put any other Pokemon down. Because that would really seal the deal. Oh, they had all the Ambers. That's smart. But I only had one card. That's interesting. Ooh, so he put the third one on there to be able to hop off. I see. We should be able to jump back on the board. I mean, he can always discard. You know what I mean? Hold up. This will do 60 and bring it down to half. I don't know if we should use that. I think we should go for the free damage. Ah, there we go. <laughs> nice. We're trying to be one thing I will say about this game, too, is you definitely want to take your time and be uh, patient. And this is what I love about Marowak, because it forces more lines of thought because I could get lucky. All right, this is looking good. I have a lot of starters, so I'm just going to hang out. Like I said, I'm gonna sit back. And then immediately when I see a bitch Pokemon, I go in. Another Pikachu. By the way, there's a lot of content going around. Pikachu is the strongest or all that kind of stuff. It's a powerful deck, mind you, but like, as we just showed in the previous uh, matchup there, like you can get wins off on these these cards with some patience, some some luck, and uh, some some strategy. I don't really pay attention much to Electabuzz. Oh, I see. So we can use an energy and an X speed, but we don't have any supports. So we don't have the Marowak. So we're going to go ahead and stretch kick the Electabuzz and get a free attack in. Waiting for the opponent to return. <laughs> okay, so that's awesome. We got him to uh, waste a potion. I always think of it as a waste because if you're going to put potions in your deck, you really want to use them on your EX Pokemon because you're giving up two points if your opponent is able to smack you in the face. So we got the Pidgey. Oh, now that I've done a little bit of damage to Electabuzz, we don't have to keep hitting it. I could hop out and start attacking the EX up here, which is probably what I'll do. And then leave that one energy. So what I'm giving up, I'm trading a point just to be able to bring the Pikachu EX below the safety limit. So when you you'll hear me say safety limit, and what I'm thinking of is Marowak's attack of 80. If I can at least get one heads out of a, a coin flip, then I just take it out. I just one shot it. So what I'm hoping to do here is sacrifice this far fetched. in order to bring it below 
and try to stall out. So I'm going to take an energy and put it on Cubone. And then we'll get this Pidgey line going. And we can hit any one of these. I'd rather hit the uh, Helioptile. Is that how you pronounce that? That's, uh, that's such a hard thing to pronounce. <laughs> but we can, we can all two shot these. But mind you, I mean, this dude can do like he can do 90 damage now. So I'm really hoping that my Marowak shows up. It doesn't have a potion. But yes, Pikachu EX is incredibly powerful because it can do 90 damage for two energy. That's why it's a strong deck. And so it all comes down to this. Nothing can survive unless I get a Marowak. Put out this Cubone. Hard cards. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh. So we're going to get smacked really hard. I can't believe this, man. All you had to do was get one, dude. That's it. Oh, now we get a fossil. Let's just line this back up. Come on. Okay, they at least gave us one. I love getting two points too, because it always makes the match look more, <laughs> it look interesting, right? Like, oh, it's so close. It's like, no, I just used a stronger Pokemon. So it's going to come down to a coin flip for him unless, um, unless he has another play. We could also use Giovanni and I'm, I'm still dead. It comes down to the draw. Pikachu EX. Okay. Lining up. What you got? That was weird. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh man. So he can hop off and swing the circuit next time. It all comes down to this. Coin. Let's just move on. Yes, I am salty. He gets no thanks from me. Oh, man. That's the life of a Marowak enjoyer right there. Things, they, they just have to go perfect, man. They gave me four tails in that match. Disgusting. Oh, you know, we're attacking that. So 
some things about the game though that I wish were coming from you go a little, I guess, better. Uh, the game feels very slow right now on turn one. I don't know much else about the game or what's coming down the pipeline, but turn one right now in the game feels pretty awful. Gotta, gotta fix that. Because right now, all you're doing is setting up fodder to be attacked on the first turn, on your opponent's first turn. But you don't really have anything that makes you feel good about the game going first. And maybe they do have turn one cards in this game that are really good. And maybe they encourage people to play uh, less of the variety of decks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, like if that's the case. But right now, like it's just. Um, it is not good to go first, like at all. You just do not want to see yourself do that. You at least want to put an energy down and hit something. Also, I don't like that in a game when you get us a uh, when you get a supporter card like Giovanni or Koga or something like that. Like I've noticed, like as soon as I get it that turn, like if I'm trying to take like a wheezing off the board or something, like it won't happen. Like I have to wait a turn and then use it. Uh, he's a red card. Probably made my hand better to be honest. Like I'll take that. I'll take that, and I'll take that. Yeah, thank you. I'll take all of that. All right. So also, let's go ahead and not put this on Cubone. Let's go ahead and put this on Clobopus since we're getting to like borrow time. I'm doing this um, evolution to try to force the opponent to, to do more because they're holding cards right now. And I'm not particularly sure that that's because they don't have a play. But with, with everything you have, Get rid of the Dragonite line. But yeah, it, um, I don't like that feeling either. Like, I feel like you definitely should not have to wait to use the card, at least like how it's playing out right now. Ooh, Articuno. Yeah, we'll just keep hammering away at this uh, Dragonair. So far, man, Hitmonlee is putting a lot of pressure on the enemy. I love this card. Um, I only run one copy. You don't really want to see more, in my opinion, for that, because like, what's the point in having two lined up? You want to have something to go ahead and hit your, your opponent in the active spot. So, I mean, I like the... So far, it's like MVP status right now. Sheesh. All right. This dude says, I never retreat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we have to use our Cubone. All right, we'll just hit start. Let's see what the opponent does. Uh, but one of the things I, I talked a lot about what I don't like about the game, and granted, it's it's not a lot. It's just a, it's a lot of feel of the game right now. But one thing I do love is how straightforward it is. It's um in comparison to those who are on the channel I play, I've uploaded Duel Links the most, right? Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh is, is a highly complex game. Uh, this game is very much straightforward and I really, really enjoy that, okay? <laughs> We're gonna use this X speed. We're gonna get the Hitmonlee going so we can swap. So I love that X speed because essentially we get to like fix the deck. Let's use the research and we have a Helix Fossil. We get to fix that draw. So let's do one, two. And then we'll be able to start going after our guy in the back. But um, yeah, like I, I love the straightforwardness of the game. Sure, there is strategy like in this, but the lines are so much easier to read right now, at least in the in this early going of the game. Like you don't have to think about, oh man, take a Pokemon from your deck and and put it in the active slot or something gross like that that you would typically see from uh the extra deck or something crazy like that from Yu Gi Oh's. <laughs> like even right now there's an event the KC Cup is going on and I'm like do I really want to 
give myself anxiety. Because <laughs> uh, that's what that feels like. Blitzel can hit anyone for 30. Let's go after that. Uh, when you, the evolved version of Blitzel can swing for 30 on any Pokemon, whether active or on the bench. So I actually don't like that more than I don't like the coin flip for double damage from uh from our other our other enemy voltorb isn't something i have to think about really too hard like i mean it it swings for 70 it is what it is okay Nothing's going to survive that attack, by the way, so. We're going to get two quick ones on me, unfortunately. Hopefully I can just not get double tails. Ooh, Pikachu. So yeah, most we have to worry about is 80 damage right now. Thank you for that sacrifice. My beautiful fossil. Oh man, I want that EX. I should have waited. <laughs> All right, so we just need to get one heads. Oh, that's overkill, buddy. Every time I play with Marowak, it reminds me of that old skit um, that was played for the Marowak in the wheelchair. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> I don't know if they still do stuff. I forget the name of the creators right now. I'll have to put it up there um, when I get done or in, in post, but it, it was it's so good, man. I need it. I do need an EX though. Like I don't want it to gnaw on me or do anything crazy like that. I should probably take it out to be honest, but Sabrina, uh, I mean, I can just hop right back on the board. If I use Farfetch, I can do damage, but whatever. Let's use our other fossil. It should survive. Ooh, that's nice. All right, we can discard this. All right, let's do it. I did not want to see that, man. That sucks. That's unfortunate. We just need one, dude. Come on. This man is getting ready to try to swing for 80. But at least we have the other Cubone so we can we can retreat because I'd rather have a healthy one out. I'm anticipating that they will. Yeah. I was anticipating the retreat, so. But you give the opponent the heads. All right, we, we're going to have to use Giovanni. Let's make sure we use this first. Damn, I haven't seen uh, Pidgey at all. It's kind of uh, frustrating. All right, so let's retreat. Let's put this cube on now. 
And just in case, if we only get one because it's at 90, we'll, we're going to go ahead and use the Giovanni. We got to hit this. And Clobopus. All right. That's so cheesy, man. It's just one. Why does this game do this so much? Pokemon Company. Like, sheesh, man. Give That's eight tails in two games. Eight. They just can't help themselves, man. And it made me waste the Giovanni. Now I have to get double heads. Like this team isn't even anything to even like be concerned about. The game is just being the game. What are they doing? What? Oh, you will not be spared. A few moments later. Do you see the level of disappointment on my face? Oh my God. All right, let's retreat. Let's put grapple lot in. And that should be game. How did we win that? I have no idea. How do we win that? <laughs> what was the opponent doing on that other matchup? Sheesh. All right, that is that is going to be it for me man like that is, <laughs> i'm not going to press this too much more for the video but yeah that that is the life of a marowak enjoyer if you don't like stress okay and whatever you're doing do not play any decks that use coin flips in this game <laughs> that's it i'm always ready and until next time Download this game and give it a spin. It's pretty fun right now. It's very free to play, uh, friendly, and I think you'll have a great time with it. But until next time, be the meta. Peace.